CATL and Tesla already have a partnership that's making Tesla billions of dollars, but now they're about to take it to the next level. And boy, oh boy, should Legacy Auto be extremely scared. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. is Sam Evans and it's great to have you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. As you would know, if you've been watching this channel now for a while, Tesla has been working with CATL ever since they moved to China. And now more than 50% of all Tesla's cars that they sell come with LFP batteries. That gives Tesla a huge advantage. One advantage, less battery failures. Another advantage, less battery fires. Yes, you've got to cover all this stuff in warranty if it's an issue with your cars, right? So you're just saving money. Another advantage, higher margins. Another advantage, easier access to batteries. Yes, when there is nickel shortages, when there's cobalt shortages, when there's issues with the prices with ternary batteries, well, Tesla doesn't have to worry about any of that stuff, right? Another big advantage is this is the largest battery manufacturer on the face of the earth. Another big advantage is this company is primarily located in China. Another big advantage is they have very strong ties to the Chinese government. The Chinese government wants them to succeed. Therefore, they will do anything that they need. What does that mean? Well, when China has lockdowns, the Chinese government goes, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll try hard to make things work for you, CATL. That's what they do. Now, CATL has finished in October last year of retrofitting an existing factory to manufacture packs for Tesla's batteries. That's a huge factory. This year, they're building a new factory. It'll have 70 gigawatt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery production. And that factory will enable Tesla to use next level lithium batteries. When I say next level, I mean absolutely next level. CATL reported, this is coming directly from them. This is not speculation from a dodgy YouTube channel making ridiculous claims. I reported on what CATL said in their own words. That is, one, lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. By the end of this year, coming from CATL, will have up to 230 watts per kilo of energy density. That kind of energy density is absolutely mind-blowing. And it would mean that there is zero advantage to lithium ternary batteries, other than maybe the most expensive batteries on the market. But those are just used by almost no one because they're so expensive. In other words, right, this is a game changer for Tesla. One, Tesla gets cheaper batteries, right? Much, much cheaper. Sorry, GM fans. Sorry, Ford fans. Sorry, Toyota fans. Sorry, Legacy Auto fans. Tesla gets batteries cheaper than all of you. It is a fact. Well, how? How do they get them cheaper? Well, for one, uh, CATL is down the road, three kilometers down the road, just down the road, right? Tesla buys more batteries from CATL than any other automaker or any other company on the face of the planet, so they get a cheaper deal. Plus, they only have to ship them three kilometers down the road, right? It makes sense. It makes sense that the batteries are cheaper. Tesla's obviously ordering way more LFP batteries than all of Legacy Auto combined. Combine them all, combine every Legacy Auto company on the face of the earth, Tesla orders more LFP than all of them combined. In fact, most of them don't even use LFP, period. Although recently they've said, Oh, no, 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 no. Ford said, oh, yeah, no, we've been planning on using LFP for years. No, don't worry. We, we, we have, I assure you. I mean, next year we might be able to use some LFP. Rivian, same thing, right? Volkswagen, pretty much the same thing. They've all gone, yeah, okay. It makes sense to use LFP. We'll start trying to catch up to Tesla in that area. However, Tesla and CHL are taking this game to another level. Why? C T P, cell to pack technology, or in CATL's terminology, CTC. I'm going to explain to you now why this is a chess move from Tesla and CATL, why this move will be a game changer, and why, frankly, Legacy Auto, whether you like them or not, whether you don't like them or not, feelings aside, emotions aside, why this is a game changer for Tesla on an astronomical scale and why it may very likely bankrupt many legacy auto companies. Chinese power giant CATL 
is ramping up its efforts on technology that integrates battery and vehicle chassis as it poaches executives from other companies to help that division of its business. So let's just have a think about this, right? Right now, CATL has just finished a factory which builds packs efficiently for Tesla's lithium-ion phosphate batteries. They're building another factory this year which will provide Tesla with 70 gigawatt hours of batteries. And they're building the ability to do what? Well, build Tesla's cell-to-pack battery systems. What are they? 4680 battery cells will have to go into Tesla's structural battery packs. Give Tesla huge advantages. Why? Well, as CATL calls it, CTC technology integrates the battery, chassis, and the underbody together, eliminating the need for a separate battery pack for the vehicle and revolutionizing the battery system architecture. This technology will allow the cost of electric vehicles to be lower than internal combustion vehicles and give them significantly more space, as mentioned by CATL's chairman, Robin Zeng, in August of 2020. He talked about this two years ago. So do you think Tesla and CATL have been planning for this for a week, a month, a year? No, more than two years. CATL believes that with Tesla, they can dominate the world. This is scary. Now, CATL has a history of developing new battery technology, but CTC technology is the integration of electric cells into the vehicle chassis where car companies will have a huge advantage over other car companies that are not doing this. So what's going on right now? While CATL is currently building factory, as in now, in order to be able to build these components for Tesla. On February the 19th, it officially opened a project in Shanghai, and one of the integrated electric chassis projects is likely to accelerate the landing of CTC technology. Tesla wants this to happen this year, not next year. Interestingly, in China, there is now a number of car companies working on CTC technology. They've all said, oh, great idea, Tesla. This is fantastic. We really like this technology. We're going to do it too. And I've reported on some of those on this channel. Why is it that Legacy Auto have done nothing? Because they're like these massive oil tankers. It takes years to turn them in another direction. According to Tesla, CTC technology, along with its integrated die casting technology, will allow vehicles to save 370 parts and be made much quicker, lighter, more efficiently, and have much more structural rigidity. This will help reduce body weight by at least 10%, lower battery costs by 7% per kilowatt hour, and greatly improve vehicle range, say both CATL, Tesla, and the other Chinese car companies that are trying to implement this technology. CATL say that their CTC technology will be available for Tesla this year, at Gigafactory Shanghai. In addition to that, they're working on a better version that's gonna come out in 2025, and then they're going to have an even better fifth generation version that's gonna come out in 2028. I reported earlier that on the 25th of April, Leap Motor, Chinese electric vehicle company, unveiled its CTC technology, which will be used in its soon to be released flagship electric sedan, the C01, making it the first vehicle in the world not to use a separate battery pack. Well, aside from Tesla's, of course, Model Y is coming out of Gigafactory, Texas, and they are right now. Just so you have an idea, Leap Motors technology is very similar, but slightly different to Tesla's. It's a cutting edge technology that simplifies product design and manufacturing processes by redesigning it's the battery bearing tray so that the entire lower body chassis structure is coupled to the battery tray structure. This is quite an innovative installation process and it really is part of the ethos that Tesla has, which is less is more. By eliminating the battery superstructure, the technology increases the vertical space of the vehicle by 10 millimeters compared to conventional solutions and it increases battery layout space by 14.5%, say Leap Motor. Now, I've talked on this channel many times about the advantages of Tesla's structural battery packs and the structural battery pack implementation. There's huge benefits. Weight loss is one of them. Needing less batteries as a result of that weight loss is another. It's huge. I realistically think that right now, Tesla, while they're making industry leading profits of about 30%, I think that once they're using this technology in all of their vehicles, 
even vehicles with LFP batteries in them, they're going to have an enormous advantage. Just imagine like your cars, right? Same cars, weigh less than the competition. Here's an example, right? Currently, the Tesla Model 3 is 300 kilos lighter than the BMW 3 Series electric car in China. That's because Tesla's vehicle is an electric vehicle built from the ground up. The BMW is not. It's a retrofitted internal combustion engine vehicle. Well, that Model 3 doesn't use, right? It doesn't use a structural battery pack. It doesn't have 4680 cells. Imagine that it did, right? You lose another 200 kilos again. Now your car is 500 kilos lighter. And how many batteries do you need to get a similar range? Well, Tesla already has better efficiency than other automakers when it comes to using the same amount of batteries. I mean, the Cadillac Lyric, for example, right? It's a similar size to the Tesla Model Y. Yet, the Tesla Model Y has a longer range than the Lyric, but it uses 25 kilowatt hours less batteries in the pack. Well, imagine the new Tesla Model Y, right? When it weighs, say, 200 kilos less again. That will mean Tesla can reduce the number of batteries in the pack even more, meaning what? It costs Tesla a lot less money to make the car, plus it costs them less to make it because they're using GigaPress castings. How do Legacy Auto compete with that? I really don't know how that's possible, especially when you have CATL making these systems for you in China. Imagine the cost advantages that that's going to come with. It's insane. It's scary. And like I said, this is Tesla playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Aside from some other Chinese auto companies, that's a bit of a worry. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.